I'm J.R. Church. Welcome to today's webcast. Well, the Herva Synagogue in the old city of Jerusalem is due to be reopened with ceremonies this Monday. And um, Monday, of course, is March the 15th. It just happens to be on the, the evening of March the 15th, the first day of Nisan, the new year uh, for the springtime in Israel. Herva is to reopen after 62 years. 62 years ago, the Jordanian army destroyed this historic synagogue. It has been destroyed four times, and it is now beautifully restored. And according to this article, Benjamin Netanyahu will not be there in person for the ceremonies, but he will speak to the people by way of television. Benjamin Netanyahu does not plan to attend the historic reopening of the Herva Synagogue in Jerusalem's old city on Monday. A senior diplomat told Arutz Shiva's Hebrew News Service that the prime minister will absent himself in order to avoid conflict with the United States <laughs> because, you know, he really took it. He took a hit last week from Vice President Joe Biden uh, over the announcement that uh, Israel would allow uh, buildings or uh, constructions of uh, apartments in one of the Jewish neighborhoods of Jerusalem. Please bear in mind that it was many years ago that Israel declared that Jerusalem was the, uh, was the indivisible capital of Israel forever. And of course the Palestinians want to make it their capital as well. Israel, you know, Israel is willing to do everything it can to placate the, uh, the Palestinians and to make peace with them and to even allow a Palestinian state within the heartland of what God gave to Abraham. And so it's um, amazing to me that this has gone on for as long as it has. But the United States now is against Israel's keeping the land, the holy land. Let me tell you something. It's God's land. And you mess with God, and you're going to be in trouble, big-time trouble. And that's what's happening right now. The United States wants to give land to the Palestinians. The Palestinians Authority feel emboldened. And so they are complaining that uh, Israel... Um, needs to back off and get out of uh, East Jerusalem. They want the borders back to the 1967 borders. And you got to understand, in 1948, Jordanian soldiers captured East Jerusalem and uh, occupied it f until the 1967 war. But Israel got their land back. And the Jordanian army destroyed the Herva Synagogue in the Jewish quarter of the old city uh, back in 1948. And it's taken this long, 62 years, for it to be uh, reconstructed. And the ceremonies are going to be this coming Sunday. Well, Netanyahu was criticized by Vice President Joseph Biden this week for allowing Jews to build homes, as I said, in the neighborhood of Ramat Shlomo, in Jerusalem, an area that has never had Arab residents and is located in the densely populated Jewish neighborhoods of Sandi Sanhedria and Ramat. The Palestinian Authority harshly criticized Netanyahu as well, accusing him of torpedoing negotiations by allowing Jews to move into parts of the capital that the Palestinian Authority claim lays claim to. Netanyahu apologized to Biden for the timing of the remote Ramat Shlomo building plans. Knesset Speaker Ruby Rivlin of the Likud and other um, MKs, members of the Knesset of Netanyahu's Likud, criticized Biden's reaction, having some harsh words for Netanyahu's apology as well. The Palestinian Authority considers Jerusalem's old city to be occupied territory as well. That's what the Palestinians claim, that Jerusalem's, Jerusalem is occupied. Oh, yeah, the Jews don't deserve it. They're just occupying it. They're squatting there, and they want it back. They want to move. They want to move it back to the 1967 borders. Um, and, of course, that would take the Western Wall 
and give it back to the Palestinians and the whole Temple Mount and, the, and, and all of the Harvest Synagogue and everything. You know, not one single, see if I'm correct in this, not one single Muslim mosque has ever been destroyed in Israel. Not one. But Joseph's tomb, several times, including this last May, they, you know, vandalized, uh, Palestinians vandalized it again. And Israel has to go in there and restore it. And they do, but uh, it's right in the heart of Palestinian territory. Uh, but no mosque has ever been destroyed, and yet this Herva synagogue was destroyed by the Palestinians. Um, there is an ancient prophecy of the uh, 